What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.1 and 12.0.1 jailbreak. Umank has achieved one, apparently, using his kernel exploits and he posted a demo and if you remember Umank is part of the Electra team. Now this video is brought to you by Denosher and their software iCare Phone, which allows you to back up your iPhone easier, manage your files and fix the iPhone if it's stuck in recovery mode or a black screen with the built-in iOS system repair. Check the program out in the link below. So if you remember, back in September Umank has posted this, quote, status of my vulnerabilities and a potential iOS 12.x jailbreak. Bugs are alive and well and I'm able to successfully jailbreak my A11 and A10 devices. Can't say about the new ones since they aren't available in India yet. I'm looking at the release timeline for iOS 12.1. Now after that, back in October, on October 30 actually, he said quote, iOS 12.1 breaks remounting again for the root file system and fixing it will take some time. If you want a jailbreak, stay on 12.0.1 or below. My kernel bugs still work, so that's a nice silver lining. Now today he posted this demo in here, which is pretty much a full video in which he goes to show that he is able to connect from another device through SSH to his device that ran his exploit. He pretty much created a barebone jailbreak for iOS 12.1 only to allow him to connect from a device to another just as a proof of concept and this demo has actually been done to pretty much mitigate a few complaints from other developers who called Yuman fake for not giving more information about the uh, exploit or for giving too little information about his exploit. Anyways the tweet says quote perhaps the jankiest ever demo of a jailbreak and unfortunately there is no a ETA on this or if it will ever be released. So we don't know for the moment whether this is going to see production, however we know that it's possible and when I asked Yumang on private a few months ago whether he's going to release his exploits or not, he definitely said yes. Now I'm not entirely sure whether he changed his mind during this month, but of course as far as I know he would release his exploits at some point. Anyways, if you go ahead in here, the video pretty much shows his device running his tool. If you take a look in here, there is the uh, the tool that he has, this one in here. It's just a bare bone UI with a button, but it does appear to be working for a proof of concept. And of course, after he presses the uh, jailbreak button, he gets this prompt in there, which tells him that he can connect to the uh, device. And then he proceeds on connecting to that device from a tablet of some sort. And he definitely is able to connect because he's able to run commands on that device. Now the uname command that he runs on the uh, tablet that is apparently connected to the phone does indeed spit out the information for the iOS 12.1 kernel and that is correct. He also runs the uh, software information and he does get the information for the iOS version and the uh, build number and so on and these do match the iOS 12.1. However, if you remember he said that the um, remount is actually broken. He said that quote iOS 12.1 breaks remounting the root file system again. So I asked him how is it possible that he managed to write something to the root file system in the video on iOS 12.1 if it's broken. You can see that I asked him this in here and he said that quote by fixing it. So he pretty much means that he fixed the rootfs issue. However, his answer doesn't satisfy me because he says quote really though it was something with my device as restoring to iOS 12.1 and wiping my OTA installed update fixed it. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if this is the uh, reason why it worked because when an exploit doesn't work or a remount doesn't work, usually installing iOS will not fix it. But anyways, he might be right. We do not have access to the code for the moment and he seems to be very protective with his code. He did not post any proof of concept or any information about where the exploit is or which function of the kernel is vulnerable or anything like that, which pretty much prompted a few developers to call him fake. However, that was before the demo was released, so we do not know whether they maintain their skepticism at this point. Anyways, this is already drama around this posting here and around this tweet, but for the moment it's unfounded, there is not enough information to call him fake, so I would definitely keep that as drama and I will keep it away from this video from now on. So Yuman posted this in here, if it's real and it's indeed legitimate, it's definitely a very big step towards an iOS 12.1 jailbreak and 12.0.1 and possibly even iOS 11.4.x. Anyways, if you're running iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4, I would definitely not update and I would stay on that version. Of course, we cannot tell the future, but the odds are iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1 may be jailbroken first. Anyways, iOS 
one is a better choice if you're already running iOS 12.x. So if you're running iOS 12.1, go ahead and downgrade today back to 12.0.1. I'm not entirely sure for how long iOS 12.0.1 will be signed, so I would definitely recommend you to downgrade right now. Go ahead and save your blobs for both iOS 12.0.1 and 12.1. So this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm GSNow and till the next time, peace out.